I'm going to show you guys how to add in the integral maps uh, for your WordPress website. Now, if you follow my last tutorial, uh, I told everybody that uh, there was a problem with Google. It turns out at the same time they required an API key. Now, they don't usually do that. So it's sort of an update they had that I wasn't aware of. Now, if you want the map on your website to look something like this, stick around and I'll show you guys how you can add this to the Azera shop theme. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard right here and go to dashboard. And you guys will need it to make a Gmail account for this. So um, next we're going to go down to our plugins and just go to our installed plugins. And we'll go ahead and scroll down. And you guys probably got a lot of errors about JavaScript. So just go and click on settings. And now right here, it's going to say Integral Maps API. Now before this wasn't required, now it is required. So uh, I messed up there. I didn't know that. So first just go ahead and click on the code Google right here, the API consoles. And you're, like I said, you're going to have to make a, a Gmail account. So I'm going to use one that I don't have an API key for yet. All right. So uh, go ahead and just, you know, create your Gmail account, whatever it is. And you'll be brought to something like this, uh, this page right here. So we need to create an API key. So uh, to do that, I believe you have to go to Google API, Google API, just like this. Okay. And next you're going to go ahead and scroll down to Google maps, JavaScript API. This is what we need for the maps to work properly on our website. So go ahead and click on the Google maps, JavaScript API. All right. Now go ahead and go to go to credentials. All right. And now it says right here, Google maps, JavaScript API. That's what we need. Where will you be calling the API from? So you can just say a web browser. And just click on what credential or um, yeah, what credentials do you need? Now you want to go ahead and just name your key. So I'm just going to name this, uh, you know, just test. Now this part you don't have to put it in. You can put it in the websites or you can put it in whatever you'd want. So I'm just going to go click on create API key. All right. So this is the API key. This is what we need in order for the maps to work. Now, like I said, I was kind of embarrassed because I made this tutorial and it wasn't working and I was like, why isn't this working? You know? So, uh, once you're done with that, just put this and paste that into your maps API key, and then just click on save changes. All right. Now, after that, you shouldn't be getting any more of these JavaScript errors because, uh, I was getting them on my tutorial and I really wasn't sure why. So, um, now that we've entered in the API key, we can go to, um, our plugins and go to install plugins. All right, and we can go ahead and scroll down to integral maps and just click on maps. All right, and if you guys have noticed that uh, we don't get any more JavaScript errors, uh, nothing bad happens, uh, amazing. So <laughs> just go ahead and click on add new up there and we're going to create our first map. So we want to add in a marker. Now, um, I live in the United States over here, so something like this right here. So we can go ahead and click on the uh, add marker right there. Uh, enter an address. So I'm going to enter in, uh, let's see, Pasadena CA. I don't really use this plugin too much, guys. But um, for this uh, map, you or for this theme, it's, uh, you know, you can use it for it. I usually just take the Google Maps and I just copy and paste it. If you've probably seen my other tutorials. So I'm just going to enter in um, uh, pass. And then have that as default. And then let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and update this. And then uh, let's see right here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take this little uh, marker we have right here. And I think this is how you do it. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on this. I don't use this plugin too much. So uh, apologies if this is a bad tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into Pasadena right there. Just like this. Now there's other things you guys can do as well. You know, they have controls, all these other things like the pan controller, um, overlays, all that other stuff. You can actually change the way the map looks as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put mine right there and then just go to create the map. Like that. Oh, I think so. Add the marker. Okay. Just like that. All right. So the map was created right there. So I added the marker in and now in order for me to take this, I just have to take this uh, short code right there and then just paste it on the website. 
So I'm going to go over here to uh, visit site right there. Now I'm going to go to my contact us page and then customize this page because I want to add in the map right there because uh, for this theme, it gives us a section where we can add in the code. All right, so the contact us page and now we see where it says map short code. Just go ahead and just paste that code in there and um, it should come up. I'm going to click on save and publish and there you go. We have our map right there. So uh, we've successfully put it on our map. Now there's also another one for the first page as well. So we can add this as well onto our first page. So I'm going to go back to uh, our home page right here and I'm going to insert this as well on the home page because there's two spots for it. So I'm going to click on customize up here. By now you guys are probably pretty fluent with this theme. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. It's, it's, it's a really good theme. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down right here. Now I'm going to go down to uh, front page sections and I believe it is the ribbon section. No, it is the short code section. Uh, I forgot which section this was in. Um, contact info. Oh yeah, contact info. Okay, so it's in your contact info and all you need to do is just paste that code in there. And again, the map will come up right around here. And there it is. So uh, that is how you guys add the maps. Now you guys might want, you guys might want to spend more time uh, with the uh, maps because, uh, like I said, I'm not a professional with the plugin. I've used it probably twice, but um, for this theme, it really adds style and it's a it, it's a really good um, uh, plugin. So feel free just to like you know check it out. Uh, they have a lot of options in the map. It's a very good plugin. Uh, it's made by uh, Themeisle, which is the same people who designed this theme. So um, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section.